Well, good morning. My name is Obsidian, as we all remember. And today, I am working on some OC design stuff. Which is gonna be kind of interesting, because this character that I wanna work on does not have a set design currently. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with her. So we're gonna have to figure it out together. All right, where was my notes about how tall she was? But no TikTok, be quiet. This is probably gonna be very slow going. We're probably gonna get as far as like sketch and um, maybe a bit of line work. I don't think we'll finish the line work today. Mm, where are my notes? Okay. So she is 158 centimeters tall, so I'm gonna go with just that. It's pretty close already. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. How did I manage to do that? Okay, well, we're back with more art stuff. But we might struggle to find poses. This is gonna be this is gonna be a thing. What poses do I have? It's might be better just to check downloaded material. So this character is very bubbly for the most part. So she's gonna have a bit of an extra um She's gonna be like a little over the top. At least that's the intent. I need to find a few things. Okay, where did I save the file with all the other characters? Yes, here's all the other characters. She should have seen it in the thumbnail. Art struggle, it is a struggle. All right, that's the only other characters for right now. We have a lot of other ones that haven't been designed, but let's see. I'm just gonna find old art of her. Um, where are you? I have anything that I could even use? Oh man, I don't even have. I have no Clip Studio Paint files for her. I have one thing I did back in like 2019, but that's not gonna work. I remember this one; it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so I guess we got nothing to roll with here. All right, well, starting from scratch then, I guess. Yeah, it is a struggle, Charlie. Greatly. I have a lot of poses saved. Some silly ones, like like this, probably. But I don't think I'm going to use that. It'll make too much. It'll take too much space up. So what will she do? I mean, I could go browsing for some as well, but I don't know that I really want to do that. It'll take forever. There's a lot of fighting poses. What's this one? Mm, what about this? Yeah, that's definitely a fighting pose. How about this one? Holding a gun and rifle? No. What about this one? I don't know what this pose is actually supposed to be. I have no idea. Dancer, maybe? Yep. Now that's it. That's the one. <laughs> that's definitely the pose. For sure, that's the pose. I'm glad that I saved like dozens and dozens of these because there are so many, just just so many poses. All right, now that that's out of the way, the question is, what does she wear? Yeah, I think her default proportions here are probably about correct too. Let's turn that down to 25%. It's 
grab my sketch color. So this, this character we're working on is Mai. Mai is supposed to be Japanese. Um, let me pull up my character profiles of her, actually. So, where where did I put that? It's it's somewhere. It's over in my Google Drive. Charlie, did you end up getting your coffee? When I texted you, you were like struggling to wake up. All right, um, my guiding ideas for my comic stuff. Okay, characters. Mai Yukimura. Alrighty, let's see, Mai is the Gen Z group of the, or member of the group. Skilled with social media and works with Aeon to aid in Coco's online presence to ensure the team has a good perception and a steady stream of revenue. Also doubles as an alibi. <laughs> she moonlights as a musician. Okay, so she's she's like the idol one. <coughs> so she's a musician. And also a social media person. She's like the whole ass package for content creation. But the, que <coughs> the question is, how do I want to go about it? I, there is a character who I can't remember her name, but uh, there is a character in River City Girls who I could probably use for reference to an extent. I don't remember what her name is, but damn it. What is your name? What, what is her name? Jesus Christ, I can't remember. I'd play the song for her, but I, I can't do that either, but I can show you who she is. It's, uh, it's this one, the social media boss. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm gonna use her because she comes off as like one of those um, like, I mean, she's supposed to be like very condescending. She just has everything like done for her by like automation and whatever else. So I might only use her as like a vague reference. I don't know that I'd really use it for like a, a direct go-to thing. What the hell was her name? I don't, what is her boss name? Suiko, okay. Let's see if I can get a good image of her. Maybe we can look at that for reference. All right, images, yeah, give me, give me a good image of her. Yeah, so this, this is her like actual design. A little bit of a fashionista kind of thing. I don't think I can really use that. I don't think it really works for, for what I want here. So maybe not that one. Much as I like River City Girls, I don't think I can use her necessarily. Mm. Shit, man. <laughs> I'm having a hard time deciding how I want to progress about this. See, like, the problem with me trying to come up with, like, an idol character of any kind is I don't... I don't really know what to do with that, honestly. I suppose I can give a little bit of a backstory while I'm trying to, like, struggle to figure some stuff out. Mai's character is named thusly and has a music tie-in design-wise because I named her after the actual name for the lead singer of Bernadelia. Because that's like, Maria is, is her stage name, right? But in, in real life, her name is like, it's, it's my something. So I named 
this character after her because of that. Which means I guess I could look at Gardadelia's designs for like how they did things. As a basis, because I don't watch idol animes, so. Yeah, I'm already remembering some of these being things I looked at for reference. They got a wide variety of costume designs, so these aren't especially helpful. Right, maybe... Copy image. Maybe... Maybe something like this? A big poofy dress? Potentially? Could probably do that. Maybe. Let's keep looking around. It's gonna be hard to find exactly what I want to do here. And you know what she's gonna have, Charlie? Even though you're gonna give me shit for it? You know what she's gonna have? Because almost every character I have has this. Do you know what she's gonna have? She's gonna have two-tone hair. And I don't hear shit about it. I don't hear nothing about that, Charlie. Not a word. Not a word from you. Nagging me about this all the time. Or not even nagging, just giving me shit for it. How dare. You know, actually, I, I haven't used Honkai for a design in a while. Where's, where's Impact Throne? Omber. Yeah, I know it's called an Omber, but it's, I'm gonna call it Two-Tone. Alright, so, fuck you. <laughs> Desktop, media, where's, where's Impact Third? I'm gonna open that up really quick. Scroll through some of their designs. That's what I've used for a lot of these character designs, actually. Like Coco and Pulse, especially, like these two on the end. Like they had very heavily Honkai designs. Enya had a kind of already preset vision in my head, as did Veda to an extent. Aeon's a bit of both. I think Aeon pulled from some other things. Mako came from a few other styles of things. So I'm gonna open Honkai and see if I can't maybe do another Honkai design. They've got a lot of idol outfits in Honkai, so I can use that for reference. It's not just an excuse to have Honkai open. Alright. Alright, Suzana, be quiet, please. I know I haven't done my dailies. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Right, mute the game so it's not super loud. Okay, so probably should just scroll through the outfit stuff in my inventory, seeing as I have every outfit. Collection outfits. They've got quite a few. I'm trying to think how I want to go about this. Mm. Also, you think about how I want to do her hair. I hadn't really thought about that either. Everyone's hair is kind of like. I think most of the characters have shorter hair. Like it's only Aeon and Coco that have longer hair. So maybe I should give, give my, longer hair again. Maybe I'll give her like the the Fuhua, tie back hair. Maybe I'll only do that for her thing. Could be interesting. I'm gonna add some stuff to it, could be fun. Hmm. Actually, Carol or, or March 7th could be good references too. They have very similar outfit designs. It could be not a bad idea. Like a little crop top thing and a skirt. Could be okay. March has like a tight off shirt kind of thing. And Carol does not, but they're somewhat similar in design aesthetic. 
hell are all the idol outfits? I know there was more. Where are they? All right, well, I can't use the one for May because that was one that originally inspired Coco, so we're gonna just ignore that one. Um, it's always the hardest part of deciding what to do. I guess I should decide on like a, a general like design motif, right? Like each of these characters had like the hell. I'm getting a phone call. Why am I getting a phone call? Who the hell is calling me? Hold on. Okay, that was my water bill. Great contact. Let me just let me just say this is what this is. Company. Phew! Excuse me. That's probably very loud. Okay. Now that I'm done snezzing. Maybe I will look at March 7th's design. Let's let's do that. Hi Fox, good morning. So, I think I might use I might use March as a, a thing. So we have March 7th, who is her own thing. <laughs> and then we have We have Carol, who's also very similar in a lot of ways. Let me open up a thing to show you Carol. So both of these have a pretty similar design in a lot of ways, and I think I could use that. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that, but something vaguely similar to this. I feel like that would work for her. I mean, I'll give her the Fuhua hair tie. Maybe more braids, because I haven't tortured myself a while with braids. I mean, the only one that really has braids right now is, is Coco. So, could probably do that. Let me get some more coffee. All right, well, let's sketch out the body stuff first. I'm not gonna just draw directly on the thing. Now it takes me forever to actually get started on any of this stuff, but that's fine. Look, it's, it's a lot of work to try to design characters. There's a lot going on there. That is not a good sign. Why is my pen not working? No. no. Why? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't Don't do that. All right, I'm gonna save it at least. Maybe if I disconnect. Did Windows screw this up? It probably did, because it's Windows. Do not make me do a restart of my computer for this. I swear to God, I will fight. Come on, give me my, give me my pen pressure back. Windows, you asshole! No! No, I'm not. Discard changes. I'm not dealing with this today, Windows. You're going to work. I should have checked this before stream. I should have checked this, and now this is a problem. Yes! There it is! Now it works. <laughs> 
I hate that it, that gave me a mini heart attack right there. Mini heart attack. Not appreciate that Windows. <laughs> being a butt yes yeah, seriously it, windows is the worst it, it truly is and it scares me all right gonna have to fit why, why are you so fat stop it I'll lower that. I usually use like a size 12 for this, but it's... Why are you so chunky? That is not how... I'm not pressing that hard. That's where that is. I'll just specify that in a moment. We'll figure this out. Stop that. Sometimes it like spams out, doesn't know what it wants to do. And I'm like, you need to you need to chill. This is, this is illegal and I won't have it. <sighs> Grabbing yogurt and bacon and you'll pop on? Yeah. So I guess for, for people over on YouTube, uh, my good buddy Cherly, who we'll be playing Elden Ring with later today, is gonna pop in and do art with us. This is gonna be a comfy art day. This is what we're doing today. I gotta make sure we have the body correct. You know, these 3D models are really useful in a variety of ways, but they are also very flawed, which people on Twitch, I mean, you probably heard me talk about this many a time because this the 3d model does not quite work the way it needs to not usually it has, it has some issues But it's okay. I haven't decided on like what colors are gonna be her main thing either. I probably should have decided on that. All right, let's see. Tommy stuff is gonna go here. Roughly like that. Xenomorph Yoshi. I saw that. I did. I was very concerned. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what is happening there? It's, it's very concerning. But you know, like, like power, power to you with your Xenomorph Yoshi. I won't judge. Just, just a teensy tiny bit upsetting. Not where the hip dip needs to go. Hip dip needs to go up here. Why is my brush so massive? Assessing the armpit people. Or appeasing the armpit people. I mean, yeah. Look. Sometimes you just gotta cater to people. And maybe you'll get followers. <laughs> that's how I was told this works, right? That's that's the important thing. You know, actually, that, that reminds me of another, like, fun rule of thumb about art, is, like, learn to draw feet, but not learn it too well. <laughs> Which is 
probably one of the funniest rules of thumb I've ever heard. Because it's like, you want it to look good, but not too good. So people don't get the wrong idea about why you know how to do that. <laughs> good enough. And I'm like, you know what? That's, that's absolutely valid. I can't argue with it. No, don't draw in the wrong place. All right, we'll draw the food there in a minute. I would like to get the my ability to draw hands a little better, though. I mean, it's not always bad. This program definitely helps me quite a bit with it. Yeah. <laughs> but look at me and tell me that's not true. You know that it's true. It is it's a very good rule of thumb. We all we all should recognize this. I actually was thinking a lot about like rules of thumb lately. So I think Charlie, I showed you the TikTok a while back. It was like Um it was talking about like philosophy. And it was the um like never trust a skinny chef, but like in the same adage um, ask a person who has, like, like a philosopher, like, do they dance kind of thing, right? Like, do they have other activities or hobbies that they do outside of, like, debating philosophy and whatever else? Which is a very good thing of, like, do you have passions aside from just complaining about life? And I'm like, yeah, that's fair. I thought of another one. Never trust an overly clean mechanic. If their shop looks too nice, if it looks too corporate, never trust them. Not even a little bit. Never trust them at all. Because they will absolutely screw you over. Never trust those guys. If they're too professional, if they're too clean, if they don't look like a bunch of, like, hicks out in the backyard with a bunch of ruined cars all around their house, don't trust them. Alright? It needs to be, there needs to be a degree of scuff around that area so you really know that they know what they're doing. If it looks too clean... No, absolutely not. They're going to scam you. I've thought about this in terms of, like, all the mechanics I've been to for my car and stuff in the past. And that's always been the truth of it. Of, like, if they look a little too nice, they're probably going to scam you. Whereas, like, if they look pretty scuffed, they might actually give me good prices and do a good job and be honest about it. I'm like, that's wild. So yeah, that's a new one. Never trust an overly clean mechanic. Hey, then my mechanic passes. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Think about it. Think about all the mechanics you've ever been to. How many of them that had like a, a sort of rundown looking place actually scammed you versus the ones that were too clean? Right? The ones that were too clean are always the scams. It's always that. For sure. So I've decided that that's a new raw, uh, new law of nature. Learn to trust it. Life, of, life advice with obsidian. Right, let's get this other hand going. Gotta do a lot of the hard stuff here in a minute. Sketching out the body is definitely the easier thing to do. I'm gonna bring 
that in a bit. Yeah, that'll work for now. That'll be a good start. I'll just get the sense where that is. The eyes are gonna go over this section. Unless you can trace the nose, that'd be fine. I mean, I can see where all that is. Okay, so that's the body layer, more or less. Turn that opacity down and go up to the next thing. Turn that to 50%. Now that I do actual design work, how do I want to do this? So I can turn this off for the moment, I think. Hmm. Can it Carol? Actually, you know what's funny is I'm pretty sure that this is close to an older design. I, hold on, let me see if I can find it. I have an older design. Guns, lots of guns. No, I don't think she'd use guns. I don't think that's what she does. Let me let me find this. This, this will be funny. They're not logos. Uh, Christian comic. Art. It's in the character. It's in my Procom art. Yeah, so her old design was this. What's funny is I'm still gonna do this like exposed shoulder thing. This is obviously the chibi version, but like she's not gonna look like this. But I got some ideas, I think. I'm trying to incorporate some of the old things. Maya's design has never really been consistent because I guess like the real story of how she started started was uh, she was my main character to play as in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And I just, you know, I like to take my characters like somewhat seriously when designing them even then. So my was my hunter in generations. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I knew that like in general, like what her personality is, is like she's she's kind of comes off as very ditzy. She's extremely like kind of carefree, but she's not dumb. Like she's she's very she's very like smart, but not in a way that you would expect. Is kind of the best way I think I can describe her. An unconventional intelligence. Let's see. Normally I design like the front of the hair first, but um, in this instance, I really don't know what I want it to be like. You know what I haven't done? All right, this, this is like a, a pretty anime kind of hairstyle. Let's, let me zoom in and try to boot the, where is my mouse? Jesus, the one problem of having like four monitors is I can't tell where my mouse is. So there is one hairstyle I've never really used, which is like, the hair goes like this. So you have like this, this one strand here, but then there's like another strand that goes just like that. I've never used a hairstyle that does this. I wonder if I could do that. It could be a thing maybe. Also, I was gonna say I don't have a character with curly hair, and then I remembered that my or not my Inya exists, and Inya has curly hair. Let's go back to uh, over here. Concept art. Let's pull up all my other OCs. All right, I gotta think of like color motif as well. Mako is pink and purplish looking, largely like brighter colors. Of a cotton candy kind of look in a way, but not a lot of blue. Veda has a lot of blue. Enya is reddish and gold stuff. Ayana's always purple. Coco has a lot of like red and white stuff going on. Pulse has a lot of greens. <sighs> I wonder what color stuff I should use for her bases that might help me design things. But I don't know. I feel like she would definitely be the kind that would have like streaks in her hair, not necessarily like two-tone stuff. So like we look over here at this, like we have we have some two-tone hair, right? But 
Aeon is kind of the only one that actually has like hair streaks. So I feel like it would make sense for her to have hair streaks. To some extent, anyway. Hmm. Alright, let's pull up my, my Valkyries in Honkai so I can take a look at this. So I'm going back to my characters. No, back to the, back over here. Actually, they all have like very pointy hair. None of them have like straight hair either. And I think that's because I've never, I mean, Aeon has the straight thing here, like like this, this little thing. But none of them have like straighter hair here in the front, like like this kind of hairstyle, like, like that kind of thing. Maybe I could do something like that maybe. Use Alicia for a reference, maybe. Alicia's got that. Mm, could use Rita as a reference, too. That could be fun. So instead of hair like this, I could give her hair that goes more like. more like this. Kind of covers, covers that eye a bit. Can you make cut? Yeah, I, I guess so. I'll give her something like that. Potentially. And then... See, so let's look at how Rita's hair is done. Rita's hair goes kind of like this, in a way. I need to... Oh, hold on, I need to change the things. This quits minimizing every single time I look at it. Settings, video, windowed. So I'll make it smaller. Save that for the moment. Okay, back to my Valkyries. I can look at this. So yeah, Rita's hair is like pretty straightforward because it goes, like you have this kind of thing. And then it comes down here and then she has like a sort of thing coming this way, like hair that comes down like that. But I'm thinking that doesn't necessarily suit my, she's too much of a spaz. And I feel like her hair needs to reflect how spazzy she is. So I need hair that reflects spaz. But what hair could reflect that? It's definitely gonna show up in her face too. Like whatever, like whatever her like thing is here. Like it's probably gonna be like like little the fang. It's probably gonna have like the fang. Hair in Sonic? No, we're not doing Sonic hair. We're not doing that. Absolutely not. I don't need another another character having design elements that people say is for Sonic when it isn't. All right, I don't need this. Madi already did that for uh, Aeon's belt stuff. I'm not doing it here. I'm looking through Honkai characters. I mean, Kiana's a big spaz early on. They have Kiana's... Kiana's early hair was more like... Like this. I'm gonna come over here and they had her hair... Come off like, like that. Yo. Yo. Hello. Yo. Whoa. Look at you hanging out in my chat. Mm. How dare. How dare. I dare. I know you do. You're gonna fight. <laughs> you just sound like not awake and already I'm like causing trouble. I am not awake. I am not awake. <laughs> I'm already causing troubles. Hmm. So we could also do like a sort of Susanna hair, which goes, Susanna's hair is like this. She's got a big, like spiky thing, like that. 
think that might be too close to Vader's here, though. Like, so maybe not, though. Tell Charlie she's a stinky cat. Charlie, uh, you're a stinky, stinky cat. I'm not stinky. Charlie the silly. Charlie the stinky. <laughs> <laughs> That just so we're all clear on that. That is exactly what my my brain thinks every time I talk to you now. Why? This is just how it is. I don't make the rules. <laughs> You're looking for a spaz haircut? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying out a few vague like Honkai outward designs. Uh, right now I'm looking at, like a Jolie's hair. Seeing what might suit her personality best. Dildy has like braids here too. His braids are always fun. And they've got a little thing like this. Of course, Vilvi has has the very funny anime trope of hair vents. <laughs> Got to keep your anime girl cool with the hair vents. <laughs> She'll overheat if you don't include them. I am not including that. <laughs> Just as an FYI, I will not be giving any character hair vents. Shan't be done. Amusing as it may be, I'm not doing it. Not happening. And then the hair antenna kind of looks cool I mean, forever. I, I will use hair antenna. Uh, like, Mako has that. <laughs> I'm fine with hair antenna. Hair antenna is funny. But I don't. I don't want to deal with hair vents today. Hair vents are like no. a head headband, or maybe. I'm gonna see what it might be if I give her like Fufa's ponytail kind of thing. So her hair being pulled back into like a long thingy, and a little like knot there, and something to the effect of like this. Let's see how I feel about that. Mm. It still feels a little too clean, honestly. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. It's going to click inevitably, but at the moment it doesn't. If you look at like March 7th's hair, like, I mean, her stuff is, is kind of sort of like that because it feels, it doesn't feel like it's just all over the place, but it certainly is messier, right? If you look at how that is. There's, just, there's a lot of random things going on. I feel like Mai would definitely have something to that effect. But in what way? Art is very difficult, guys. Especially character design. Art's hard. It's hard and frustrating and... I hate everything. Also, it's Charlie's fault. What? <laughs> well, I'm starting already with like the bully. Already starting with the bully. Because I can. Oh dear. I'm too sleepy for that. Well, wake up then. Wake up or I'll have to read. And I don't think anybody wants that to happen. Mm. I'll just put you on mute. It's fine. <laughs> so rude. So <laughs> rude. <laughs> so.
so rude. Can't believe you. Blue. Cash these hands. <laughs> Alright, I did talk about giving her a braid. So you found this. What what is this? What it, what even am I looking at here? A, a minute long Star Trek thing? What what is that from Picard? You're gonna have to. I'm not watching that right now. You're gonna have to explain. We're we're streaming, not just on Twitch. So like, you gotta you gotta explain what that is. Explain yourself. It's not like normal. It's it's not like normal days where I just do whatever the fuck. You're not normal. No, I never was. <laughs> I've I've never been normal. No. <sighs> you wanted Obsidian to be normal? What? You expected that to be how this plays out? No. Why? I really didn't. <laughs> Let's say you, you better not because there's absolutely no way it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Still not quite against this idea of doing this parade. I just gotta figure out how when I'm done. In the finale of season three, the Enterprise D is flown into a giant board cube to the musical tunes of the Beach Boys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's something. I, I well, feel I, like I saw that extent, that clip. That was actually kind of fun. Yeah, I, I feel like is hog wild. On, on occasion, um, Star Trek feels like a fever dream to me. <laughs> yeah. I think some of the behind it, for the most part, like the people behind the scenes really enjoyed acting together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, over that, uh, like, a large amount of time. Uh, I don't know about, like, all the other crews and stuff, but the, the next generation uh, crew seemed to get along fairly well throughout the years and have a lot of fun. So it kind of shows yeah. through whenever they do stuff. And it's, it's goofy, and they know it's goofy, and it's okay. The amount of outtakes that they have from like Star Trek is immense. <laughs> I would absolutely believe that. I mean, it's like whenever you see interviews like Lord of the Rings stuff, where they're just like being absolutely unhinged. Yeah. Later on. Like I, I think I saved one on TikTok. It was like the, um, because like Mary and Pippin, they're like, yeah, you know, in in the. Lord of the Rings, like, yeah, they went and, like, had themselves buried with, with Aragorn, and we're going to do that with the actual actor for him. He's against it, but we'll get him one day. He'll be dead, what's he care? <laughs> and I'm like, what are you guys on? What are you talking about? Yeah. They're like, he said absolutely not, but he'll be dead, what does he care? <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is with you guys? <laughs> it's like, you guys are be. wild. That's the best kind of friendships, though. Just dudes that be a little bit unhinged, it's fine. I like unhinged. Case in point, me. I'm I'm a bit of a bit of a spaz. It happens. So let's get a fun hairstyle to play around with. Watch YouTube flag this. They're like, how dare you draw 
on on our platform and i'm like well um it's it has to be done so get over Don't it there you draw the not quite nikis look you gotta just do the body thing on the background you've got to understand how that works before you can do stuff it's it's not drawing lewds and i definitely couldn't stream that even if i wanted to anyway <laughs> Not that I draw ludes anyways, or that there's anything wrong with it, I just don't. Regularly. There are some, it does exist. It's just not, not a common thing. I think I probably do need another hair antenna. That seems like a thing she's probably gonna need, or two. Give her a little like turnip sprout thing. I didn't get points while I slept because could not slept last night. Why'd you go? I got slept. Why did you not slept? You should have gone to bed, insane. Man, I know I was up playing Star Rail till like 2 a.m. But... <laughs> yeah, and I got it. I guess I'll put this up on the screen. So we finished Star Rail last night. The whole first first station or whatever the fuck. And then I see Insane and Shirley hanging out in, in voice chat. And then they're like, yeah. well, we couldn't go to sleep because you were still streaming. And I'm like, you could have gone to bed at any time. Like, you did not have to, like, sit there. Like, I appreciate it, but you did not have to sit there the whole time. So don't blame me for your bad decisions. It's not my fault. Go oh, bad. It's all your fault. No, you can't turn my logic against me. <laughs> it's your fault. You can't do that. <laughs> it's not allowed. <laughs> no, nah, we must always watch. Well, I mean, I appreciate that. I do. But also, not allowed. It's part of the creed. All right. <laughs> if you say so, Chief. Our Nindo way. I, I guess. I don't know what that means, but all right. I won't question it. Okay. Mai needs extra accessories. She needs things in her hair. What do you she want to needs... give her? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Maybe I could do like, like the Honkai thing for Sushong and give her like a little like cute plushy thing. Yeah. Just, just do like the little rabbit. <laughs> Look, it's, it's like a little insane. I could have, but I needed to sleep. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Actually, Cherry Lee, you have the design for the cutes, don't you? I could I could give her the cute. Yeah. I don't know where you put that design, though. The, the, the design? Yeah, you're the one to design the cute, so I have to... I have to look I, at I that. Need to, I need to post it for you, then. Let's see. I'll, I better put it in a new layer, though. It's like a, a plushy version of it. Where, where did I put that? Rain. Rain on where you can email. I'm gonna make him just, just chunky. A chunky little boy. I don't know how Insane's gonna feel about the the, the cute plushy thing being not with Coco. <laughs> Nom demands. Well, this is just like a, a weird little cat turtle. <laughs> it's too complicated. I need to make it. I need to make something simpler if I'm going to do this. I need a mascot thingy. Like, I gave like I gave Aeon the PO because that that needed to happen. Coco's got Obzibot, and then Anya's got her her weird dragonfly robot. So, what what will my thing? I got to decide what her actual. 
like just general motif is supposed to be. And to this end, I really don't know. I don't know what to do. Imagine having to design characters and not knowing what the fuck to do with them, even though they're your own character. Imagine. A raptor? I mean, that'd be probably too complicated. Something that loafs. I'm gonna have to turn the person for real. Oh. oh. Okay. Godzilla, I, I can't use licensed things for my characters that are gonna be my own comic. I can't do that. It's not allowed. Chunky cat. Meow. Meow. I'm gonna get a big. Just a big, big chunky cat thing. Focus. A Saturn V rocket. A simple enough. Uh, you say these things, Fox, like I I know what that is. There's there's the derpy thing. He's kind of complicated to draw, though. <laughs> so I made him in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is complicated. That's why I'm like, I'll just go with cat. Cats are always cute. She's supposed to be like our social media person. Speaking of Star Rail, I got Iceman as my five star. Which one? Jabard? I like Jabard. He's okay. Speaking of Star Rail, okay, I was opening up Twitter and I found some, some pretty amusing things last night and I commented on a few of them. Uh, let me see if I can find... I think they're in my likes. Uh, so whenever you get to Eurel 06, um, there's like a blocked off subway station. And if you examine it, it says, For some reason, a sweet female voice pops into your head. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? I'm like, Shut up, Paimon! <laughs> You're not even in this fucking game. <laughs> there's also all the wanted posters for the characters that Jafard himself drew, and they're derpy as fuck, and I love them. But also, somebody else made this gag. They're like, looking at the NPC on her space station that looks like Fuhua. And they're like, I had a vision. And I'm like, for real though, I like literally had this same, like look at this motherfucker. Emergency food is everywhere. This looks like Fuhua. And I'm not the only one that saw that. <laughs> I gotta do that. I gotta do that meme of like, you know what this motherfucker look like, Loki? Look! And just have like Fuqua over it. Because <laughs> it's true. Oh, yeah. Uh, people have now discovered that you can examine trash cans and your MC yeah. narrates over it. And I'm like, they're all like, this person's so fucking deranged. And I'm like, yeah, but like, it's also hysterical. <laughs> Actually. Oh! The other fun thing. So, you know, the, the official name for the female MC is Stella. Okay. One of my favorite things now is that people ship her with March. And one of the ship names I've seen is Starch. <laughs> Which is so fucking funny to me. I'm like, I love that <laughs> so much. <laughs> that was by far the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. I'm like, yes. I'm, I'm all here for it. Zach so quote tweeted a few other things too. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's it's Stella March, Stella Seven. And I'm like, no, Starch. Starch is way better. <laughs> oh yeah, they're also talking about how Welt needs to mention Tesla, seeing as Tesla's his wife. And I stand by what my original assessment was that like I hope the Tesla shows up in Star Rail. But how I want her to show up is is very specific. Because he's I think he said somewhere else that like after the events of the alien space manga is when he got like stranded in space and Himiko picked him up and he joined the Astral Express then. So he never really went back to Earth after the events of the post-home Kadasi. So Tesla hasn't seen him since like 2025. And we don't know how long he's been out in space with Himiko. So I want Tesla to like 
show up in Star Rail and she's pissed. She is not happy. Like she's absolutely livid because she hasn't seen Welt in like years. And she's a boss fight. She like summons mechs. You just have to like fight her. And the only reason that she fights you is because she just wants to beat the shit out of Welt. Because she's mad that he left. Never came back to Earth. And I'm like, please. Please let that be the case. And then have her join your party afterwards. Wherever she's like, chill the fuck out. Please. That's what I want. If that'll happen, then I'll be I'll be happy with, with everything. It'll be good. I need it. It'd be right on brand for her. I guess we'll see at some point in time. Maybe. Alright, how am I gonna do your outfit? Also, she needs to be holding a mic, I guess, so I should probably add that, because she is a musician. I suppose if she's gonna be a musician, I need to add like extra things to showcase that. Little little clippy things here or there. Could be fine, like little hair clips and stuff. Be fine. Get it. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Shut it, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people who don't know what our dynamic is, I'm like, why is she getting so rude to this girl? And I'm like, well. <laughs> just how our dynamic is. What they don't know is that you dish that shit right back out to me and I have it coming every time. And I'm like, well... Every time. Without fail, I have it coming. And I'm like, I can't be mad because I did this to myself. <laughs> it's like, why would I be mad about this? It's literally the bed of my own making. It is deserved, it is. That absolutely is. I keep telling people, I'm like, look, I am a little shit. And if if I have been bullying a little too hard, all you gotta do is just dish it back out because I had it coming. Which my friends sometimes have like a hard time picking up on, but when they do, it's it's almost instant every time. It's instant karma. Like, yep. <coughs> That's how it be. For sure. Like I, like if if Sirsha were here, um, she would absolutely tell you about the many times that some of our friends in college got fed up with my bullshit, and then they just dished it right back out immediately and without hesitation. And I'm like, yeah, well, <laughs> whose fault was that? I wonder. I wonder whose fault that was. Let's see. Carol Hongkai. I need to see your design, Carol. Is your you're similar to March in a lot of ways. They both have things tied around their waist, I'm noticing. Like a little tied off jacket or something. Yeah. I, I could probably do that. Do I want to draw that every time, though, is the question. And the answer to that is I don't know for sure. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That's the age-old question. Do I want to draw that again later? <laughs> well, this how... looks cool, but... <laughs> so how often do I want to deal with this shit today? And the answer is maybe not as much as you think. What I could do is I could make her skirt kind of like a dress thing instead. And then it's just she has like another shirt underneath it. Which is not not too different. Like Carol's is kind of like that when you look at Carol's design. 
Why am I looking up images when I can just pull up the fucking characters? I have Honkai open right now, specifically for reference. Delete, that's why. Yeah, so if you, I'll just pull it over here on screen. So if you look at Carol's design, she's got like this, this skirt. Actually, it's not even a skirt, it's her jacket. And she has a little tied off thing with like donuts and like a Rolling Stones thing or whatever else. Little punk rock looking stuff. And I could use some of that. But I like the idea of maybe like her, her actually having like a skirt and it connecting to a thing underneath her shirt. And then we can, we can come to something else there. So instead of doing like, cause Carol apparently just wears shorts. So she's not actually wearing a skirt, whereas March 7th wears a skirt. Though Carol does have an outfit that is a skirt, but I'm not using that one. So maybe I can construct it by having it be like this instead. So I'm gonna be like that, and we'll just kind of build up from the top of it. I also need to follow the the, the rule that, that Honkai has for stuff that I don't think many people really talk about, which is the rule of Vs. It, or that's what I'm going to call it, which is that they always add V-shaped stuff into their designs, and it always moves in to draw your attention to the midline. There's always a ton of that in how they do their, a lot of their designs. And you look at March, she has this too. Right, like the, the jackets and stuff that are part of her skirts, they kind of V in to the, the tummy. Her tie-off shirt thing Vs in to the midline. Like it all Vs in to just direct your attention right to the middle. Yeah. And a lot of their designs, for a lot of their characters and a lot of the games that Mihoya makes, that's how they do that, is they use like this V-shape thing. Which is something that I actually implemented for Coco's design, is I have this these V-shapes. And a lot of that, same thing with like Pulse, is there's Vs everywhere pull you right into the middle of it. <laughs> Gotta try to keep doing things like that if I can. Figure it out. Eventually. One day. Yeah, one of these days we'll get it. Look, designing characters is very difficult. And I've never pretended to be an expert at this, but I do try to, like, think properly. It's just, it's very hard, alright? Alright, I'm gonna turn her hair off so I can get a better look at this. All right, the cat and stuff is in this layer, and we'll turn that off too. Cut, paste, mute. There. They also like straps and belts just dangling from everything, which I always find fun. It's amusing. Let's see, let me turn this opacity down a bit. And back up here. Maybe I can do what I did with Coco and I can give her like a belt. That V's inwards, but it only like half attaches. sort of like half attached belt that could probably be a thing what are you working on Shirley what are you doing are you zoning out or are you doing actual productive things what say you chief I'm kind of zoned out I'm kind of trying to put something together for Minecraft fuck out of my room Playing Minecraft. Yeah. What? 
What I'm trying to do is come up with like a, like a little mini set that I could do the little paper craft with. And I can't yeah. decide on yeah. what I want to build. I can't made like I can't five different with. things. <laughs> I am not sure what to tell you. I know you asked me before, like, what can I do? And I'm like, I don't know. Figure it out. Decide what you want to build, Charlie. I can't help you with it. I always struggle myself with doing this kind of thing. Think I know what I'm doing? I don't know what you're doing. How dare. I never know what I'm doing. Here. And get like a big bunch of button. Just whatever's hanging on that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You'll get it. I mean, may maybe some point in time, potentially. It's, it's difficult to decide how to design characters and come up with stuff. Uh, yeah, actually it is. But it's fine. Uh, that's the other thing I need to be working on. Green totally skipped over. I need to be putting together a villain. Oh man. I've got pieces. I have a villain, I just haven't designed them yet. Eventually they'll get a design. Mine, mine's... I would say it's mostly designed, but I've, I've picked out a bunch of stuff already. Right, right. Do better, Sherilyn. Right. <laughs> Do better. I'm just being super annoying for like no reason. <laughs> I'm not weak enough for you. Well, I told you that I was How gonna dare. be obnoxious and, and that was gonna be what it was gonna be. You're like, no, Yay. no, it'll be fine. And I'm like, are you sure, Terry? Like, are you certain that it'll be fine? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll be in there in like 15 minutes when I have my coffee. You come here like, oh. I'm too tired for your bullshit today. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would happen. Back into playing Embroid again. Man. Playing Embroid? I have not touched Broid in so long. I feel like I probably should at some point in time. But uh, no, I won't be doing that. At least not right now. What? No. Well, imagine me doing Broid? What? I Making use you of my knowledge of YouTube system? You use your VTuber knowledge to make something? What? Crazy. Right. 
Rawr. Rawr. Why are you rawring? I don't know. And I guess that's fair. <laughs> I have no idea, but I must rar. Seems about right. Lies. Still struggling to figure how I want to handle this. I'm trying to make it distinct enough. Or it still feels like I use stuff for inspiration, but I'm still trying to like figure out how I want to handle it without it being too similar. It does have a very idolish vibe already though. Almost in, in a weird way, looking at this design, I, I've come to like a, a mental image of what I think it reminds me of, and it's not oh, yeah. idle. It's uh, like 1930s um, country girl, like Dorothy, like Wizard of Oz Dorothy. Like my brain is like, it's Dorothy, it's Dorothy outfit. And I'm like, why? What? Why is your brain associating these two things? They don't even look that similar. It's like, no, 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 it's the same thing. I'm like, brain, brain. <laughs> Why are you like this? Brain, no. And the answer is, I don't think it even knows. I don't think my brain has a clue what it wants sometimes. I think it just decides on random shit. there are just days where it is confuzzled and it's like hey obsidian hey hey would you like to think about this dumb thing today and i'm like no no i wouldn't want to think about that today why are you why are you like this it's like well um too bad because that's what you're getting today too bad Do you know what I want to add to her hair, though? You know what I've, I've thought about it a little bit. Yeah. There was, there was something that, that Maya's design always had, which was like little, little like pom-poms. So her hair gets a little pom-pom tie. Pom-poms! Because of reasons. You know what, I think I will smooth out some of this hair. Now that I think about it. I wasn't gonna, but I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Figure it out. Art is hard. But we, we, we do what we do because otherwise the tech bros win. Otherwise, the what? The tech bros. The tech bros will win if we don't do what we do. <laughs> Can't let that happen. Like, I won't lose to tech bros and AI. I'll, I'll become the most unhinged that I can. Something that AI could never replicate. That's what I'll do. You'll fear me. You will learn to fear. Yeah.
It's actually like uh, there's a video from like Adam ruins everything, uh, or I think he talks about. He's like, yeah, just become like the most unhinged that you can. Create something so weird and unique that no AI could ever replicate it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I take that as a challenge. I take it as a challenge. say is I draw like just, I wouldn't say typical anime girls but something like that I'm not sure what I'm going with here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'll figure it out as we move along with it. So it's the joy of creation, right? It's just struggling for a while before you come up with something that you really like. Yeah. I like this dumpy cat I've drawn for her. It's it's amusing me every time I scroll up to look at it. <laughs> every time I scroll up, I'm like, hey, I like him. Stupid. He just just no it thoughts in that little cat head. No thoughts, cat derpy. Yeah. Now I'm drawing these like little cuffs, and I'm like, now my brain is like, oh, it's a maid outfit. And I'm like, no, it's not that. Could be though. Maybe one day. Not right now, but it could be. If I, if I want to do these, I'm not actually sure if I do. I'm just toying with ideas right now. You know, Charlie, maybe I'll just give them the gloves. Y your favorite. <laughs> your favorite thing to make fun of me for adding to things. Maybe I'll do that. I think it's funny. Go for it. <laughs> do it. I might. Let's go. Why don't I go look up our infamous favorite character that does this? There's a Lyle. Let me talk to you, buddy. Cancel. No, I want to look at you, Lyle. Let's, let's look at your... Your gloves. The ones that Charlie is always like, blue shirt or white shirt? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what color stuff she's gonna have at the moment. I have not decided. For you? Oh, um. 
White shirts get dirty too easy. Go for blue. That is my, my formal recommendation to you is go for blue. I'm undecided what shirt to wear tomorrow. Okay, well, I, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do to help you other than just say maybe not a white shirt. Especially if you're like in an area that's kind of like really hot. Because like around here, like I couldn't really get away with doing a um, like a white shirt because I would sweat and it would just have sweat stains and be gross. So, can't really, can't really do that. I used to have one, and I, I could get away with it because it was like a shirt I would only wear like under a jacket. But I can't really do that anymore. Don't know what to tell you. I'm breaking out your suit for an interview tomorrow. I've been asked to drive a van. Well, not for your suit. A white shirt, I think kind of works, but I mean, it depends on what color the suit is. Could, could be, could be you might want to go for something else. The black suit? Aren't black suits, like, discouraged for interviews because they come off is like intimidating or something. Is that like a psychological thing I heard about recently? I don't remember. It's too much work, honestly. too much work to worry about those kinds of things you only have one suit i mean i'm the same i only have one it doesn't even fit me all that well either i need to get like fitted for a new suit to be perfectly honest maybe one day I think I will just end that right there. Yeah, this, this has idle vibes to it. Especially the pose. The pose definitely helps. Good. We're, we're doing good. You've lost weight since so you got the suit for your grandfather's room 2021. I, I have gained weight. So, like, I, I went to the doctor the other day. And I weigh, like, 191 right now. I'm about six foot, so I mean, I'm, I'm not like fat, but I definitely am like, I should be like 175, probably. I should, I should probably be down weight a little bit, but when I was working from home, I ate absolute trash food, and I put on weight because of that, and I'm like, hmm. Like, I ate, I ate garbage food, and I should have not ate garbage food. <laughs> should have been better about that.
Like, as it turns out, eating curry, like, every week is not a good thing for your health. Who would have guessed? Okay, can I... Where's my 3D model thing? I move these for a moment, because I need to go back to this. No, don't do that. Stop it. Stop it! All right, let's do let's do the hand camera thing. Oh my, yeah, okay, my hand camera is not on this one, so let's see. All right, uh, this is still like such a fun, weird thing that I can do. Just, just oh, my yeah. That, that's still hilarious that I can do that. I'm just looking at my own self in the camera and I'm like, oh, what do I do here? Looks like I'm grasping the thing. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> it isn't perfect, but yeah, it'll it'll work. My hands are like a fist now, but the fingers are all fucked up. Uh, still tracking my hand. Shit. <laughs> Fucked it up. Oh no. It's not working out super well. It's not as, not as well as I'd hoped. Turns out, clasping your hands around something, not, not as easy as it seems. So it turns out, not super easy. But I can fix it slightly. There we go. It's a little off from where it was, but that's fine. You need to do more exercise, like going for walks, talking to rocks, riding alligators. I don't even live in Florida anymore, and I can't talk to alligators anymore. Best I can do you for can. you is is go into the <laughs> store and go buy a little them. further south. <laughs> they got gators in Bama. But, sure, but also, <laughs> I would much rather go to the store and buy gator instead, and I can fry it. So how about that? Bet you didn't think I'd do that, huh? Consume the alligator. Actually, it's very tasty. Just as an FYI. Gator is, is very good. I gotta look at pictures of microphones now. Draw the mic. And let it be, be vaguely enough of a mic that people can tell roughly what it is. More, more, like, it's just hatching right now. It's fine. Like, it's fine. It's fine? It's fine. He said, as it was not fine. Or convincing anyone that it was fine. Actually, what I can do...
Just draw a long ass line for a cable. Because why not? Why draw cables correctly when I can just use a brush to do it and then pretend like it's actually a cable? I moved the other hand and I didn't mean to. Oops. That's a problem, but not my fault. I did everything I could. <laughs> Charlie, your judgment says much in your silence. Giggle menacingly over there in the corner. I got on now. You're plotting stuff. You're plotting things. I know it. Indeed. Charlie's actually a menace. You guys just don't know. I tried to warn people, but they don't believe me. They're like, no, no, Charlie's too nice. I'm like, no, Charlie's a menace. Of this, you can be sure. Yeah, this outfit's coming along, so it's kind of nice. It's some flair to it. Well, that's just a rude thing to say about my OC. <laughs> that's just rude. What did Mai ever do to you? Talk about my void. Just bullying my characters. I see how it is. Like, they already bully each other right now. Especially Aeon. Aeon bullies everyone. That's how she is. But that's why I like her. She's an asshole. But she's my asshole. Alright, so here's, here's the real question, Cherily. The real shit. Do I give her absolute territory? the real question I don't have a lot of characters that show legs so it's either we do legs or absolute territory that's the only two choices we got <laughs> oh man yeah I don't know chat what do you guys think for, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about that's so you got like a, like a leg right and you have like the, the bottom of the skirt and then you have like stockings on and it's that space between the stockings and the, the skirt or shorts or whatever. It's, it's that little that little section there. It's called absolute territory. <laughs> so either we're doing that or we just show legs. I have no idea what kind of shoes she's gonna wear. Heels probably would make the most sense. Especially seeing as she's like an idle character anyway. Let's see. Guess I could design shoe first. Carol's got some sort of like tennis shoe type thing, which I don't think it would really work for what we're doing. March is wearing probably closer to what I would actually use here, which is a like kind of heel type thing, little pointy heels, which not, I don't think any of my characters have pointy heel type things. 
We got some boots, some tennis shoes, more boots, platforms, combat boots. We don't have like actual like heels heels, so maybe I should do that. I forgot how exactly I want to design them, but Maybe this is where I can go dig through Garnadelia's designs. Alright, Garnadelia. Alright, I want... I want to show you this. And I, I want I want you guys to understand how my friends fuck with me even whenever I'm not paying attention. This is important. I'm gonna upload it into Salty. My my friend from college, uh, we'll call her P Money. P Money tagged me in in a post in our like WhatsApp group of all of our college friends with with no context whatsoever, and she sent me this picture. So I'm gonna pull up on stream here. She sent me, she sent me this. And I, I was like, hey Bonnie, what, what am I looking at here? What is this? And then her husband was like, it's a mirror. <laughs> I'm like, is this how you guys view me? <laughs> is this? What? So they, I'm about seeing it. They're like, it's a mirror. And I'm like, what is this? Is this how you guys view me? <laughs> Just because of the jacket? Is that what it is? Because <laughs> of the jacket that I wear all the time? But yeah, they're like, it's it's you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I see the picture. That's funny. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> You're not supposed to out me like this. All right, I gotta find some good, good heels to use for reference here. Mm, some of these are too, too much. So yeah, my friends outing me for the usual. And I'm like, why do you guys do this to me? I really asked for this. They do it all the time because they like to fuck with me, and I'm like, well, I don't know why I expect it any different. My friends love to do this, constantly. <sighs> Designing shoes sucks. I hate trying to do this. I hate it, but also it needs to be done. Take a page out of Alicia's book and give her some weird stockings. At least on one leg. Because asymmetrical designs are what I, I live for. Even if it's a pain in the ass to draw. I tend to like asymmetrical styles. Now how do they handle Alicia's stockings actually? Let's pull up Ellie. I'm gonna make sure it fits with how I'm doing the rest of this, though.
Yeah, I'm going to incorporate like music stabs and things into this. Because why not? It'd be kind of fun. I can just remember how to draw like a treble clef. Which I don't remember how to do, so. Let's see. And then we got that little thing there to show where the knee is. How do I handle doing this? Elysia, thank you for your service on helping me to figure out a design aspect for this. Because it always comes back to Elysia, it doesn't matter what design I'm looking at. got one one boot thing it's absolute territory going on because that's what we do will I do that same thing for the other one or will we just choose something else I don't know maybe That's too high. Hang on. I probably should go up higher, but we should be more like right here. In which case, this needs to move. Bam! A mix of like some weird sci fi looking shit and also this stuff. Yes. I'll probably have to continue adjusting it slightly, but. It's 
fine. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, the designs are coming together. All right, now to add face stuffs, which is always very difficult, but. I think I do want to keep, there's like in the chibi version of this character, I have, she has like little stars in her eyes. I think I'm gonna keep that. Just, just give her like weird eyeball shapes. Cause why not? I think it'd be funny. She also had the, the fun fang that characters always have. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I think that definitely is going to have to be a thing that I give her. It just seems design traits that need to stay consistent. She is a little shit, so there's there's things that she's gotta have. Of course, I have a lot of my characters are just little shits at the end of the day. <laughs> In their own very special way, they're just little little fuckers. I love them, but they're little fuckers. the amount, so I'll come to that in a minute. Hmm. Looking at Rosalia, who has the, the fang and everything, that's what they do for her design in Honkai, and I'm like, yeah, I could probably use something like that, maybe. I'm not sure what eye shape I want to give Mai, though. What would suit you? I probably need to turn the hair off again. Figure it out. Now, I guess I could have looked at part of Felis to see how they handled her her little cat fang, because that definitely is a thing. Yeah. Pardo, where are you? Let me look at you, Pardo. This is important. I know you have a cat fang, Pardo. I know you do. They don't showcase it on her model in Idol. Damn it! <laughs> oh. It's rude. So I think these are maybe two two angular eyes. She needs more rounded eyes. You need rounded eyes. That's what makes the most sense. Maybe I don't have the pupil in it, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, the illegal thing, Charlie. The illegal. Is it an illegal thing? Yeah, copy and pasting the eyeball and then flipping it. 
who's gonna know? They're gonna know. Who's gonna? How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can probably adjust it later. It's probably a little much right now, but I can probably fix it. Like that. Shrink the eyeball a bit. No, shit. It's not in the right layer. Did I even give the cat girl? The cat girl has actual things. So they, they're both going to have that, but their personalities could not be more different, I don't think. Because <laughs> mine's going to be the one that's like actually a little menace. Because this is the character that's like obsessed with Mako. She's like, I want to pet floofy ears. That's, that's basically what she is. So this... It's gonna be a fun dynamic that like having her be obsessed with both cats and, and whatever else is being her thing. She's like, yep, you're your cat, your friend. You're my it's friend strange. now. You're my friend now. Whereas Maka is gonna be more like very shy. She's not gonna know what to do. Like that's, that's what it's gonna be. Or it's like Mai is gonna be super fucking aggressively like, uh, like into the shit, and then Mako's gonna be please, please space, give me space, stop it. This is gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a fun dynamic. We'll play around with it. Why are eyes so hard, Charlie? Why are they so difficult? I don't know. I struggle with them too, though. Here we go. Perfect face right there. That's that's the one. That's the face we do, right? That's, that's <laughs> definitely the face. Just a face. As, what do you guys think? It'd be a great face, right? Just keep that as the canon one. <laughs> Instead of what she actually should be. <laughs> 
back to this land again. So how do they do March's stuff? Because March has extra shit in her eyes too. Because it's just two big eyes is what it is. You've got to be smaller to fit the hell out of everyone else. Not quite sure. Uh, okay, let's do let's do the scary thing. The thing I don't ever like doing. Because no one likes doing it. What is that? Hands? I know. The other thing. <laughs> Feet? No. What's the other thing? Flipping the canvas. Oh, yeah. Like no one likes doing that. No one likes flipping the canvas. Sucks. <laughs> I think part of it is I have just too much of her forehead showing with the hair. Fix that. Oh, well. I posted some pictures in the comic. The comic Discord. <sighs> nice. Just tried to get some, some vibes. You know, I thought about making like a comic Discord, but also like... What else was my personal Discord for? It's, it's gotta be used for well, something. Well, the, the reason I have that is is, is for interacting with because there's other other people that are involved with the comic. So, like, you, yours is pretty much your project. You're not, like, collabing directly with anybody. Yeah. 
Which is fine, because I like doing stuff. Her head's too tall, but I'll have to... I'll you don't want my that. character? How dare you? No, mine. Mine's... the head's too tall, but, uh... I don't want to bother fixing it because I'm not... I don't have the official hairstyle. There's, there's really no point. I'm yeah. Moving things around. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a fun design. She is nothing at all like the character I had originally created. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Alright, close iron and ready. I have everything ready for tomorrow. Poggers! He Pogger. said unironically. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, I failed to sign into my work email on my phone. So if I'm getting emails from work, I won't know about it. What a shame. But yeah, all right. I'm, I'm kind of down for this. This design's fun. It's kind of silly. But that suits her. I have absolutely zero idea what I'm gonna do for her general designs though. Like color-wise, like no clue what's happening there. Is there more I could do with some of these clothes though? Let's go back to look at Carol and March and see if there's anything else they have that I could maybe look at here. I got a few things. Maybe I can give her like a big, like, like poofy bow for some reason. Just like no reason, just having one there. Just cause. she had originally, so why not give her more? Pom-poms! This design is Pom -poms. going to be a pain in the ass to draw, but that's how I work, I guess. So I just want to, like... I want to do a little quick comparison because this will be really funny. Why don't I pull up 
one of my older designs of her so we can we can compare and contrast this because of how vastly different this actually is <laughs> it always amuses me to do <coughs> all right so first the one i showed earlier we'll pull up the the for version so we have we have for version my from way back when that was that was one version which is not at all close to this let's do scale and just shrink that now we got four coma version and then the other one that i did not bring up earlier which is the or not mako i need, I need my you got this one so yeah, this version so that version with little pom-poms to this they are not at all the same she used to have buns little little fucking bun things she's got no buns now no buns only braid thing hair poof <laughs> you want to call it it's funny how that works out but this is probably closer to what i envisioned her to be to begin with so it works it just works and now i have to do line art which i definitely did not want to do because <laughs> line art is hard what are we been going for, actually? Two hours? I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been two hours. I don't know. Might not be a very. I, I did six hours yesterday. I probably shouldn't go for another six hours today. That might not be the best thing to do. No, I don't think you'd be going that long. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't. I think we'll probably stop at like noon. That might be a good idea. Just get another hour or so and then wrap things up for a bit and then you and I can do Elden Ring later. Yeah, I need to load that. <laughs> have you, do you have it installed is the question. Did, did you no. do what you needed? <laughs> See, now this is a problem, Charlie. <laughs> You're supposed to do stuff. Why I are you not doing your job? Now. For all you know, it could take forever, and you just didn't bother to like install it properly, and now we're gonna have a problem because you didn't do your job. I, I, all right, I'm clicking the button. Agree. All right. Yes, text me so I can sign into my job email. There it is. Sign back in now. Hooray. They just periodically signed me out. Four hours after. Shut up, Fox. Shut up. We didn't ask. We didn't ask you to call me out. Insane already did this last night when I was going to stop at four hours and stream for six. So shut it. <laughs> I don't need to be a, called out today. a long stream. It was. But hey, we finished the first area. I don't know that I'll stream the next one, though. I might just do that off on my own time. I mean, I already streamed a lot of Eurelo 6 whenever I was on um, the beta anyway, and I don't think they've changed it like that much, so... Odds are, it'll probably be largely unchanged. Even with, like, what currently is in the game, like, they didn't really change it like that much. So, I shouldn't have too much of an issue with that. Oh my god, pin, please, for the love of fucking god, do what you're supposed to do.
I probably will play a bit of Star Rail today, though. Not on screen, but I'll probably play it. Make some progress. Play it just to play. Yeah. I mean, I was enjoying myself. We all we all heard the, the maniacal laughter when Seely was destroying things, so... Yes. Slowly becoming unhinged. Well, you know, more so than usual. You know, if I wasn't slightly crazy, I probably wouldn't be a content creator. You kind of have to be a little crazy to do this. I find it very amusing that in, in my notes about this, that Mai is, is not just like a, a moonlighting idol, but she's like their social media expert. And it's mostly to give them an alibi whenever things go a little bit sideways. And I'm like, this, yes. this happy-go-lucky looking motherfucker helps them do maybe not so legal things. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Go, do crime. <laughs> Will I make her a war criminal? Probably not. Probably. I make no promises, though. The idea of that is very amusing, though. It's like... The, the one that you think is all the crimes is like, nah. Volunteers at, like, homeless shelters, whatever. It's like the happy go lucky one. Killed 13 people, committed 18 war crimes. <laughs> it's just... What? Excuse me? Maybe that's what it'll be. I think it'd be funny. I haven't fully decided yet. This is definitely our Sunshine character, though. 100%. This is the Sunshine one. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have a Sunshine character. For what? In my comic, I don't think there is a Sunshine character. Not like in a true sense. Well, it sounds like you're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> you're gonna have to get one now. You need your very own sunshine character. Now, I feel like to some extent that that does tend to be you. Yeah. But only like to some extent. I don't know if I'd call uh, Charlia a true sunshine character. She has some of those aspects. Yeah. You're just the wholesome little bean that I get to bully. Because it's amusing. It's how the obsidian do. It's like Insane said, if I wasn't being a little, like, troll, is it really obsidian? The answer is, is probably not.
Obsidian War Crimes win. Uh, I I can't confirm or deny the existence of Obsidian War Crimes. YouTube for for legal reasons, this is a joke. Okay. Just so we're aware here. This is, this is not a condoning of actual war crimes. Though I do think the, the funniest thing about that is like the, the war crime that's the most commonly broken by video game companies, which is putting the, the red cross symbol in their medic stuff. It's a war crime. And I'm like, oh. Stardew Valley committed a war crime? That's a problem. Should maybe not do that. <laughs> Among Us did the same thing, yeah. Imagine accidentally committing a war crime. On that same token, I think one of the funniest pages of anything I've ever found was like, I was going through lore for um, She-Ra and the Princess of the Power, because I love that show. And there's a whole page dedicated to war crimes committed by the villain, the, the villain above the villain, and one of the protagonists. <laughs> Because she she becomes queen for a while, and whenever she she becomes queen, she commits war crimes, and I'm like, well, <laughs> maybe don't do that. It's a bit of an issue. Yawning. <sighs> Shut it. <laughs> It's time to go to booth. Let's go to booth. Hello. What's in booth? I'm going shopping. Shopping? I'm going shopping. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> I'm going shopping because I am looking for a villain's outfit. Nice. I had some actually set aside. I just have to decide on which one. Alright, I'm gonna... I, I was just open Twitter briefly. Um, I'm going to, to show this character. This is one in Star Rail that's coming up. Those of you who watched me play the beta will remember this guy. This is Svarog. Um, I'm gonna show you what Svarog reminds me of. And you'll, you'll see this and you'll understand immediately why, all right? We found a good picture of this character and where is, where is he? Yeah, this, this will work. It's a figure or something. Um, how many of you guys have seen Appleseed? You remember this dude? You remember, remember Briarios? And I saw Swarwag and I'm like, oh, it's Briarios. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> They're the fucking same. I see no difference. They're the same picture. <laughs> I haven't seen the anime. I'm familiar with the characters, though. Yeah. I actually really like Appleseed. Um, weirdly, so I guess I, I haven't really talked about Appleseed very often. Um, I don't remember why I was able to see it exactly. But what I do remember is that my mom and my dad were like scrolling through TV and Appleseed was on. And for whatever reason, they just left it on, even though they don't like anime. They don't like anything. They just watched it, like, the whole way through. And I watched it with them. And I was like, yo, this movie's really good, actually. And then my younger sister and I were like, we recalled it fondly. So, like, we, we didn't even know if it was, like, a real movie. And then, like, way later, I went out of my way to find it. And there are some parts I don't like about that, the original, like, anime film. Um, I have the... I think there's three movies, and I, ha I have at least those three. Um... 
There are things but I don't like about three. it. Though. Yeah, but I mean, they're they're generally okay. There's just some really weird, like, kind of strange cringe parts in it, but for the most part, I liked Appleseed okay. Like, really melodramatic, like, syrupy kind of moments that I'm like, this this is a little much, even for me. And I have a high tolerance for some stuff like that sometimes. It's been an old one, though, isn't it? So. Oh, it's been around a while. Yeah. You're crossing a comment panel of a news report saying a plane crashed into a factory that makes video game med packs, and of course says everyone survived. <laughs> that's that's legendary. That's legendary. I love it. Alright, flip horizontal. Look at this little cat, Charlie. I know you like him. Like a... I'm just gonna give him little little chubby fingers. This is little, little chubby. This is gonna be a little chonky boy. I'm so excited. This just reminds me that if I ever got a cat, I would get a British short hair. Because they're just they're made to be chonky. They're they're, they're chonky. They're made to be chunky, and I love it. Maybe one day, maybe when my, my parakeet uh, eventually kicks the bucket, I'll take a, a morning period, and then I'll get a British short hair. Yeah, that's fair. Or I'll just get another bird. Burp. Conyer is one I've always kind of thought about getting. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Get both when they're young and they'll just be used to each other. <laughs> you have a true. bird and a cat that play together. <laughs> I do that. <clears throat> that could be fun. Maybe the next bird I get won't be a dumbass like my current bird is. I love I love my bird. What would you call a cat though? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I'd have to find the, the TikTok of like the girl who talks about her little British short hair. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's such a chonky cat and I love him. That'd be one day whenever I get like a, a better like camera and I start doing IRL stuff. Um, I'll get a I'll get a chonky cat to showcase. Just cause. Let's see. Let me scroll back through my TikToks here. I'm gonna find it. I know I don't need to play this on on YouTube because people get upsetty, but I just want to find the chonky cat and talk about it. Okay. Oh god, how far back was it? Where is the chonky cat? I feel like I'm getting close to it, but I'm also, like, absolutely not sure. But I'm not. I am! Okay. Alright, I don't know who this streamer is, but, um, look at her cat, okay? Let's just appreciate this girl's cat. 
For those of you who are saying I'm overfeeding this guy, he's not being overfed, he's eating the normal portion that cats should be eating. It's just that he was born to be chonky. This is how his bre British short hair is supposed to look like. Look at these cats. Don't worry, it's just in his genes to be chonky. He just eats and sleeps every day and doesn't exercise. Look at this fat, chonky cat. Look at this Wait, chonky okay. cat. Look at him. I love him. I want one. Give me one. Give me one. I want a chonky cat. <laughs> it's, just, it's just in his genes to be chonky. I want. Jasmine has that face a bit. <laughs> Your cat is so chonky, and I, I love it so much. She's, <laughs> she is just a massive, massive chonker. But she wasn't always like that, right? Like, she got she got chonky after you had her fixed? Yeah, female cats tend to, uh, to get wide after <laughs> they get fixed. Not always, but that's just, just genetics. Part of being female. Why is Charlie being cradled by her pretty Asian lady? <laughs> Seriously, are, are you a are you a chunky British short hair? I mean, I could be. I think that'd be kind of funny. Like if you were a kind of animal, what would you be? It's like British short hair. <laughs> Chunky cat. The most important of things you could be. My nose is all stopped up and I hate it. I feel like I live in a perpetual state of having a cold. It doesn't feel good, to say the least. I'm just sure how I want to draw this. Hmm. You know, part of me wants to do, now that I have like a sort of design for this character. I scrolled past it earlier, but uh, we've all seen that meme. All right, I'm gonna, I'll just play it again. I'll, I'll show it, it's probably gonna get muted. I want to do I want to do this meme with it. I want I kind of want to do this. Which it's playing on stream. The, the other one's a bit delayed. <laughs> yeah, it is. A bit it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How do I want to do this meme with it? <laughs> stupid song. I have like three or four TikToks say that are just that stupid meme, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to do it. I think it'd be funny. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll take the time to learn to animate, and we'll we'll do that. I have a whole book about animation principles. Yeah. The drawing, drawing this design and trying to animate it would probably be an absolute nightmare to do. But also it'd be worth it. I need, this is kind of one of those things I wanted to do earlier was like sometime over the next week or so, I want to make a couple TikToks with these characters and just yeah. be like shit posty things. <coughs> like imagine, all right, imagine for a second, like we've got like Coco and, and Obzibot talking. And it's just, it's like you can't handle the uber instincts of my uber autism, observe. And just Coco hits the shit out of the bot with a pipe. 
<laughs> like stuff like that, or like I want to, I want to do dumb shit posty things with it. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. So, well, when uh, I'm get back from Canada, I was talking about a little bit my Discord. I think I'm gonna take two weeks off just to kind of rework my setup and uh -huh. things because I want to make room for full body tracking. Because like yes. I have room for full body tracking, but I can't. The way it's positioned, I can't actually access my computer while I'm in the full body tracking, right? I right. have to like walk around my giant desk and things to get to it. So I, I need to turn my entire desk around and put it against the wall. Oh. Um, and that's going to take some time, but I, I definitely want to try. There's a few different apps that I want to try um, for the full body tracking stuff. So mm -hmm. and, and see if I can record some fun things doing that. <laughs> So you can swing around bats and, and do goofy dances and things like that. Uh, but it's it's absolutely going to require me to tear everything apart and put it back together. I mean, that's not entirely surprising. Yeah. If I wanted to do VR, I mean, I have, like, this space for it, but I'd have to unplug, like, a lot of things and reduce my number of monitors and things like that. Like, it'd be, it'd be a huge amount of work to set all that up in here. And I'm like, you know what, I just don't think I want to do that. At least not at the moment. Maybe later, Obsidian will decide, I'll stream VR, and then we'll do that. Or maybe I'll do the, the really annoying thing I don't necessarily want to do, but probably will. Which is getting the PlayStation VR and just setting my PS5 up with that. <laughs> That way we can play another Horizon game on stream. Yeah. I don't know. That's not really compatible with your avatars, though. No, absolutely not. But you can not. play it. <laughs> and the thing is, I, I would just play it just to play it. Yeah. It's not like I need to use the VTuber model for everything anyway. It's not like I'm married to that being a part of every single thing. I mean, even today. Like, we have Coco up on display today. And it's not like I'm going to have her model, which is outdated anyway. It's the old design. Um, it's not like she's going to be there every single time anyway. So. Yes, time to update. I fucking know it. That's a lot of work, though. I think the most work um, <clears throat> when you're updating to the newer Roy, the most work happens to anything that is on the the body mesh, like the clothing meshes, except for like the dress mesh, most of them are actually exactly the same. They didn't change those, or if they did, yeah. they didn't change it much at all. Um, so it's the dress mesh and the body mesh. So anything that's drawn on the body is gonna get hella warped. Well, you have to remember, Charlie, that A, um, Coco's design has been adjusted significantly since I made yeah. the original model. And also, yeah. when I did make the original model, a lot of stuff about her design was on the body mesh. I know, I'm aware. They have stuff now that you could use, so you would have to do a whole lot less Blender work at this point, where you just wouldn't have to go to Blender at all for, yeah. for most of what you did. Um, so that's good. So like, you won't have to do that extra step, but you will probably have to redraw and or uh, definitely do a lot of um, yeah like if we look at this the old, old stuff here here's what would have to be done with this right and the, and the other thing this. is like guess if, if you wanted to change the hairstyle to be more anim animated versus like the realistic stuff yeah well first i have a few problems a i'd have to redo the entire skin texture because coco has much darker skin now than she did when i made the original model i have to redo yeah. the jacket texture entirely i'd have to redo Pretty much every texture, everything that's here would have to be redone. Um, I would still have to go into Blender anyway, like getting like the belt that attaches and like kind of dangles off, like that would have to be redone. Getting the armband thing sorted out would have to be redone. Um, the, the, the belt, you may not. It has a little dangly bit, Charlie. It has this, this little section here with <laughs> the light on it. That's probably going to be redone. You, you, you could add that through a, a hair piece. I mean, I could, but there, there's a lot that would have to be done, even in Blender regardless, just because of the nature of yeah. how I do what I do. 
<clears throat> these little like belt accessories little plug pouches of shit like that would have to be probably done externally there, there would just be like a lot that would still need to be done in Blender regardless. Um, and I'm, that's kind of been the biggest issue with why I haven't done that so far is it's just, I know how much work that is. <laughs> and I'm like, do I want to go through the trouble of doing that again? Or do I want to go through even more trouble later and just make her entirely from the ground up and then pay somebody to like do the rigging for me? Maybe. I, I, f I feel like me personally, if I was approaching it and I wanted to move into Blender and having like actual like full on 3D objects, I'd probably still start with like a Void base and then learn to build 3D objects, like the belt pouches and, and things like that, in Blender to get an idea of how things work. And so it'd be like a halfway between the two. And then like the next time when I actually like wanted to build the model, I had the experience from building the accessories to build the model. It was like the next, the bigger step. <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, me. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. I mean, it's it's something I have I have thought about doing as well. It probably is the best way to handle that. But I haven't really decided because again, I doing Blender stuff takes so much work, and as as much as I want to know how to do a lot of that stuff because it would be very useful, it's like, am I going to do that? Am I gonna have the time to do it? Am I gonna have the patience to do it? Am I gonna get frustrated or, or whatever the fuck else? Like. I'm not exactly yeah. sure what my feelings about that are yet, so I guess I'll have to just play around with it and see. The cart. I haven't decided on my hair yet. Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get around to that. I have a lot more important things to kind of deal with presently, like finishing these character designs, doing writing, and everything else, so if I did learn Blender, it's kind of like knocked down the totem pole of priority at the moment. Okay, I've bought the outfit that I wanted. Very nice. This character's gonna be so fun to have in this. I'm, I'm like looking at this and I'm like, she's gonna have a very different vibe from a lot of these others. But that's kind of the, the important thing with this is I want each character to feel visually distinct, to reflect their personality, what's going on with them. And then it's like, I'm looking at Mai, and I'm like, she is going to be a little bit dumb. But also not. It's going to be great. I like my characters, and I haven't really had a thing that has them all together ever. Like, I've, I've said this many times in the past, but, like, I've never actually made, like, a poster or anything that had all of my characters together at any given, like, point in time. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm, like, taking the time this year to fix that yeah i think it's well worth your time to do it yeah and i would much rather work on my ocs than try to do like the the creator grind set kind of thing like that's that's just not especially fun for me i have things i want to create but i want to make it on my own terms I mean, we talked about this the other day when I was like playing Horizon. I'm talking about like channels that run things like a business. And my, my stance for that has always been I would never personally do that. It, it doesn't sit right with me. And that kind of content kind of feels really obvious whenever you see it. And I don't enjoy it because it feels. Some it rings hollow to an extent to me, and you can kind of tell like when a when a video on a channels like that are made because the creator actually really wanted to make that video versus like they just did this to fill a quota. And it, it's a weird like what the video am I gonna get this week? Is this the video they cared about? Or is this the video that was to appease the almighty algorithm? 
And you know, out of it's out of necessity that it has to be done. Because I mean they got you know, in a lot of cases they have to pay their editors, they have to pay other people on the channel like co-hosts and stuff, like there's so much like extra work. Yeah. That they have to take into consideration. So it's it's not like you can really fault them for it. Um because as much as I like the idea of like creating things just with the sole purpose of like being passionate about it, that is not how you make money as a content creator. <laughs> That's not how you like survive and pay your bills, especially if it's full time. There, there are compromises you have to make one way or the other. So I have respect for those people and those channels, but for my, for myself, uh, would not, would not do. It's like, I talk about like game theory many times, because they're, they're kind of one of those channels that I think would fall in that category of like, I'm still sub to them. I've been sub to them for years. And when it comes to like Matt Pat's decisions, when it comes to running his channel, I don't fault him for any of those decisions. I'm like, no, I get it. I absolutely understand why this was done. And I'm sure he's a good guy. Like I've heard from people who work for him, like, yeah, no, this is, this is how it's done. Matt is a generally decent boss I haven't really heard a whole lot of like major issues from people who worked under him I'm like yeah like that's that checks out like I'm not really like game is the channel's bad I make fun of them a little bit but like that's more of just general <laughs> ripping not because it's actually horrible yeah I think like with that channel specifically um their quality of stuff has improved a lot over the years. Like, they've gotten to, like, their editing looks a lot nicer. Um, they're getting stuff out more regularly, and what they do get out is generally it just looks more professional. Um, but to an extent, I feel like the the feel and tone of some of the stuff and, like, the what they choose to focus on has changed as the years have gone on. And, again, out of necessity, that was done. And, I don't know, there are just times where I'm like, man, I kind of miss how it used to be. I understand why you had to do this, but also... You, you found your niche, you found your audience. And no one can be blamed for catering to said audience, but... It is a shame. Like I said, you do what you gotta do, though. It's kind of like, yeah. like, it's sort of like how I felt about my old job. Like, I never liked working in customer service. Like, customer service is fucking terrible. Was miserable. But I was like, as much as I despise doing this, I have bills to pay. <laughs> I'm like, there, there are things that have to be done here, and if I don't do them, I'm going to starve to death. So, instead of doing that, why don't I just suck it up and do what I need to do? So, I feel like it kind of falls in that category, to right. some extent. I gotta... I gotta put the head on. <laughs> oh? Well, you shouldn't... I'm, you shouldn't I'm take adding. it off in the first place. Rosa. Uh, obviously never chose to sell his body to Insane for money. Yeah, no, that wasn't gonna happen. Insane just yeets monies anyway. I don't have to ask him to do that. But you expected, you expected an Obsidian OnlyFans? No. <laughs> the only time I'd ever do that would be out of a joke. Like, it, it would absolutely be one of those things that I would do for a gag. And anything that would be posted there would be a shit post. It would never be serious. I was like, oh, you wanted, you know, 
fan service he only fans content too bad not yet at least look i i work full time specifically so i don't get desperate enough for those kinds of things to become an option not that everybody not that everybody who does that is desperate it's just for me i would be desperate if i chose to do that that's that's what that is So I work full time specifically because I don't want to rely on uh, my content to make my cash. At least not right now. Maybe in the future, if my comic takes off and it starts making some money, and I can like focus a lot of effort into creating more things with it, um, like animations or whatever else, and that can actually fund what I do, getting merch or whatever. Like you know, in that future, maybe I would consider taking it a little bit more seriously. But for the moment, no. Absolutely won't do that. And getting to the point where like my my characters could support me on their own, uh, that requires a lot of extra work that I just haven't completed yet. Of course, I tweeted about this a while back that, like, me creating content that's, like, fan servicey of any kind is... Just my brain don't really work that way. And it's, it's kind of a struggle for me to do that kind of stuff. It just... I, I have this skill to do it, but because my heart would never be in it, I don't know how good it would actually end up being. So you can take with that what you will. Draw, draw a circle. so much happening with this character. I did this to myself. That's how it always goes, though. Obsidian creates a character, complains about said character's design, even though I'm the one that created it. I think Coco is maybe the best example of that, because you look at Coco's design, it's like, why did I create a character that has all these damn belts and braids. Not one, but two braids. I was ex <laughs> like, why did I go to the trouble of this? It's so much. Did I need to do that? No, I did not, but I did anyway. And it's so extra. So extra, but I'll I'll take it I guess.
My coffee went cold. It's a shame. Mine did too. It's your fault. No. <laughs> well, the delayed response. No. <laughs> And since we're doing a lot more streams on emote need self-heating mugs, I have a, a heating pad, like a little like coffee burner thing somewhere. Uh, my sister got it for me for Christmas. I probably should use that, but it, it requires me to plug it up somewhere and I just don't want to do that. I don't have enough plugs. You guys don't understand how many plugs I have used already. There's so much stuff plugged into this room. And I need more things plugged up because whenever I get like a better camera and set that up, I've got to plug up the camera run that into my computer somehow so I have the footage for it and then I need to get like studio lights and a bunch of other stuff set up in here like I have a whole space dedicated to where I can put studio lights and I gotta plug the studio lights up um because right now I only have like a ring light and the ring lights it's fine but it's not perfect so getting studio lights would be better later but I'm not gonna do that right now there's a lot of things that I I will inevitably need to have that I just I'm not getting because they're kind of expensive. The self eating mug is just not one of those things, though. Maybe eventually one day. Okay, but I think this is as far as I'm going to go right now. Because it's almost noon. And I'm, I'm going to take a bit of a break from this and come back to it later. Probably won't be streaming that. So, I'm gonna just leave that up, I guess. I can't do a waiting screen for this, but I, I'll i I'll swoop to it briefly. Get a USB one then. I have like almost no extra USBs. You have no idea of the problem. Okay, let's go to this for a minute. All right, uh, oh man. Let me, let me add in Coco somewhere. You know what? I'll just talk over it. So you can see on the waiting screen, we've got like my Twitter, Add Up City and Skies, Patreon, Add Up City and Skies. Or it might be Operation Reburn now. I don't remember if I changed it or not. YouTube is Operation Reburn still. Um, there's the Discord thing and Twitch. So now that we've, we've seen that, um, we have the Horizon Forbidden West stuff tomorrow, same time, 9 a.m. Tonight on Charlie's channel. Say hi, Charlie. Yeah. Hi. On Charlie's channel, we're gonna play Elden Ring, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a troll because that's what I do. It's gonna be funny. Well, we're doing that next week too, so I. Oh yeah. I will record. My Elden Ring's installed now, so it's all good. <laughs> yes. So we will be doing that a few times. If there's a lot of funny stuff in it, I might edit a video for that to put up on YouTube. We'll see. Um, not doing that right now, but if there's good stuff, I'll make I'll make some good highlights for that. And Saturday at 6 p.m. CST, we will be playing We Need to Go Deeper with Moe, Mao Red, and Hoshiko. That'll be on Moe's channel at the very least. I'll be recording that one, and I'll definitely will be editing that one down too, or paying someone to do it, I haven't decided. Chill Air stuff is at 7, right? 7 CST? Yes. Yes. So, 7 CST this afternoon. Look forward to it. It's in seven hours. Exactly seven hours. We'll be doing stuff. All yeah, right. we'll be doing things. Yes. So I'll see you guys this afternoon on Charlie's channel and then.